Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at this new build of Windows 10. This is build 1074, the one that was announced at build conference. Quite a few subtle changes in this build compared to the last one, and you can look at the last one. There's a link for that in uh, this video on our YouTube channel. So, first thing we've got to say is it all feels a lot smoother and a lot more polished. This um, lock screen bug that had, or the lock screen bug that had in previous releases has gone and uh, this is looking a lot smoother now. Now one of the changes is the new start menu. I'm going to show that. So you can see you've got that translucent effect there that's the aero glass effect that's been brought back from Windows Vista and uh, this only shows up in when you're using desktop mode. The analyst is a tablet but this is just my test machine. So if you're on the desktop you get that nice translucent effect and I think that looks quite good and if I flip it over into tablet mode, we may should get to see some of the, effect, the new live tile effects. So there you can see um, one of the live tile effects, how it rotated round, which I think looks quite good. And uh, there's new sounds as well. Maybe I'll turn the volume up, we'll get a better idea of that. So they'll maybe come in as we... There you go. You can hear the sounds coming in there. So new sounds in the build and these rotating live tiles which look really nice. So here we are in tablet mode. I'll load a couple of apps and this is the what was called Project Spartan is now uh, Microsoft Edge, the browser. And let's close that and let's open up another app. Okay, so now the new task switcher you can drag it to a new desktop or you can easily switch between the tasks. The whole thing feels a lot faster now. The Spartan browser certainly feels a lot better now and that's one of the key things. As I said in the previous video, you've got to have a good browser otherwise the experience is, is very poor. So that is looking better. And the other thing that's improved is Cortana and um, when you go into Cortana you can Get, get all the stories there, all the news stories and things that you're interested in and uh, technology and weather, that kind of thing. Um, you can also start typing Cortana stuff and it will then um, try and answer you before you even finish typing. So if I type time in, I was going to type London but it's already there so let's say New York, it's already filled it in. So it's quite good for our um, to finding things very quickly like like that. So you can also use it for loading apps. So I can type in, uh, say, music. I start typing M. It's brought the mail app up, but the music's there as well. So I can load the music preview app. And it's a very quick way of launching apps. And I, I'm quite impressed with that. That has been working really well. Now the other thing that's changed is the uh, music app has been improved, uh, mainly around the now playing screen and the information you get on there and um, it, also the bug that was preventing the app from being downloaded in the Windows Store has been fixed as well. The video app has been improved so the content you purchase is available in the video app now and although I'm talking of stores, the Windows Store has been improved now. You've got this blue icon which it did update at some point during the previous build actually but you've now got this Blue Store and that now supports buying of apps from here sync up with the ones on the Windows 8 one app and vice versa as well and uh, the store is looking a lot better as well. There are some other fixes to it as well you can now launch Win32 apps which you couldn't do before. Did you notice the rotating thing there? <laughs> um, so Win32 now uh, will launch from here which was a bug in the previous release and when you minimize the um, Music app, it should continue playing the music, which was also another bug in the previous release. There are a couple of issues with this build. The People app still doesn't work, um, but I think they're going to fix that through the Windows update. And there's um, a bug preventing some games from playing uh, full screen, which they'll deliver that over Windows update as well. But overall, it looking good. So that's build 1074. It's available for Windows Insiders, you can uh, get that just by updating your current Windows 10 build or you can get the ISO which is downloadable as well so you can do a clean install if you like or update a machine that hasn't got uh, internet access and uh, so far looking very good, Microsoft definitely get going in the right direction 
So check out more videos on our YouTube channel and we'll, uh, more stuff on digitallifestyle.com.